Hello folks, it's a wonderful nice day down here in the sun coast of Florida. I just received a new boondocks landing gear for my native Slayer Propel 10 kayak and I'm not going to do the install uh, on this video because there's other YouTube videos that show how to do that. I have a concern that the weight of the kayak on the landing gear that's mounted in the uh, gear uh, gear track may pull the gear track out of the kayak or damage the gear track so my plan is to take some rectangular aluminum stock and put it under the gear track on the on inside of the kayak and use that as a backer plate spreading the weight of the kayak uh, under a wider uh, length of the gear track and hopefully that won't cause any damage to the gear track or to my kayak so uh, show you how we've done that and uh, maybe I'll give you some ideas on uh, if this is a, a good precautionary move or not now let's get to it here's the box with the landing gear and the boondocks rudder so we'll get into that and get started on getting it installed. This is my Slayer uh, 10. Uh, you see I've built a caddy cart uh, for storing it in my garage but it also doubles as uh, movement uh, so I can move it out to the rear of my pickup and the cart is at the exact height of my pickup where I can just roll the the kayak on and off the truck easily so here is the native boondock uh, landing gear note that the native uh, landing gear is designed to go in the track on both sides of the rear of the kayak and it can move up and down as desired. Boondocks suggests that you add another screw into the track system to help support the pull that the weight of the kayak will exert on the landing gear. Uh, I'm going to do that but I'm also going to put beneath the inside of the the kayak on, on the inside through the access through the hatch I'm going to put two uh, square uh, aluminum uh, supports on both sides to help uh, support the uh, weight of the landing gear uh, pulling up on the track so the track doesn't bend um, or pop out of the kayak which would be even worse I obtained stainless steel screws uh, 10 24 by 24 by 2 inches uh, from Home Depot and these will go in the track and they will also fit kind of if you angle them through the opening of the track. I'm going to put one in here and I'm going to put another one just a little to the right of the existing uh, bolt. The nut is for this uh, bolt is embedded into the plastic of the kayak so you don't want to do anything with it. So move. I'm going to move a little to the right drill through the track and the kayak put it there so that'll give me a, a wide uh, support okay I got the holes drilled and the screws in and the aluminum rod or bar uh, it's a square bar cut and holes drilled hopefully they're in the right spot and just as a reminder, here's the size stainless steel screws. Had to get two for each side. Well, I've got the square aluminum rod uh, 
bolted in on below the track on both sides and this base was almost too close to the existing uh, screw that held down the track because the aluminum backer almost bumped into this so keep your screw hole a little further away from the uh, existing track one thing to note on the uh, holes that I extra hole that I drilled here and here used a 3 16 drill and then on the aluminum bar uh, drilled a bigger hole to 9 30 seconds that uh, allowed the <laughs> screw to go through the aluminum bar uh, more easily than if I'd just left uh, 9 30 seconds in the aluminum bar so it was not difficult but it was <laughs> uh, tedious but once you got the bars uh, up on the bolts, the threads of the bolts held them in place where you could get the washer and nut uh, attached. Okay, here's the final installation. Up position and put it in the uh, travel position. And with uh, weight on the kayak, it clears the bottom of the kayak. So it looks like we're good to go. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and may God bless.